on this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the expansion options on the plug and play version of the multi-panel processor. So out of the box, the main board has connectors here for 24 channels of LEDs, and each channel drives two LEDs. So there's a normally on LED and a normally off LED. And if you change direction on your turnouts or points, then one will go out and the other will come on. At the bottom, we've got connectors for the push buttons, or switches or levers that you choose to use. And again, these are plug and play, plug them in, connect them to a switch, and you have 24 channels of control here. This video is gonna major on these connectors here. The first one is the expansion of this row of LEDs. So by connecting expansion boards here, you can introduce a further 24 channels at a time up to the maximum of 192. The second LED board provides the opposite and it's a legacy item, but it would allow you to drive up to four LEDs per channel by simply plugging boards in here as well. This one is for the switches or buttons and it expands these in 24s upwards. And the feedback bus I'll be talking about on a dedicated feedback video. So if we take one of the LED expansion boards here, you can see that the connectors are the same. So if I drop this down on this little board next to it, you can see how everything matches up and it's quite logical. Now the multi-panel ships with a couple of expansion cables. So what I'll do, I'll connect one to the power out socket here. This power is to drive LED expansion boards and so on and connect it in here. Now the polarity doesn't matter because it's the center pin that's positive and then there are two ground pins. So this is now powered up. And the second thing I'll do is I'll connect the input here. If you notice there's a D and L and a C, all I need to do is match them to the D, L and C on this expansion socket. So in this case, my D is on the yellow wire, I'll plug it in and I'll move the D to LED expansion one, which is the top board here which now gives me a further 24 LED channels. So I have 24 here, and an additional 24, taking this up to 48 LED channels. There's a corresponding button or switchboard as well. So if I drop this down here, we want to be able to control those new channels. So I'll take the included power cable, plug it in, and connect the power to this expansion board here. And I'll take the second cable and I'll connect the D to the yellow for the input where it says two multi-panel. And the yellow D here I will bring to the switch which is this connector here. And that's it, I'm now connected and this multi-panel is now configured fully for 48 point control. So you can see channels one to 24 here, channels 25 to 48 here. And the same is true with the inputs, whether you're using buttons, levers, or switches, or stud and probe. One to 24 inputs here, and 25 to 48 here. Now to expand further, you just keep adding expansion boards. So if I drop another one on, this will now take me from 48 LED output channels to 72. And if I keep going, I can go all the way up to 192, but I'll stop on this because I think it illustrates the point. So with three expansion boards, I now have 96 point control with output. And let's get some inputs. There I go from um, 24, 48 to 72. And with this one, 96. So I've expanded this and all you need to do is using the included cable is daisy chain the boards together. So I'll take this and daisy chain like so. Take the next one and daisy chain. So they include, the expansion boards include these cables. So let's daisy chain the power, power out to power in, power out to power in. And let's do the same for the data. Data out, data 
in and so forth and that's me wired up for 96 point control so it's all logical it's all plug and play and it's easy to go all this needs now is powering on the multi-panel here and this will power everything of course connecting your buttons LEDs and switches is also plug and play so you're now free to connect this switch with the negative towards the outer edge to any of these channels there it is on channel 1 or even all the way down here on channel 96 and the same is true for the LEDs here's a pair of LEDs on this cable variants I'm using a green and a red and I'm free to connect this by connecting the black cable to the outer edge from channel one here all the way up to channel 96 here so it's now a matter of plugging in the leds or buttons and pushing them into my control panel thanks for watching